beautiful Sunday afternoon here at St. Joe's Park. We're here celebrating St. Joe's Academy's second picnic of the summer. And we're going to interview a few people today, like Mayor Girani. We're going to interview a parent, Bill Powers, uh, the school board president for St. Joe's Academy, which is Tony Kambick. And just a few uh, parishioners are just having a ball today. So uh, we hope you enjoy and uh, have fun with us. Thanks. All right, hello again. Um, I'm here with Mr. Tony Kambick, who is an essential part of St. Joe's Academy. And Mr. Kambick, if you could go ahead and just tell us what you do with St. Joe's Academy and your involvement a little bit. Yes, I'm one of the founders. Uh, currently, I'm president of the board of directors of uh, St. Joseph's Academy. And I get all kinds of fun things over here today. Yeah, and then we see all the great children's um, things. You have the bouncy house and the little merry-go-round and a bunch of games over there going on, cotton candy. Um, I know this is a, your second event of the summer here at St. Joe's Academy, uh, or St. Joe's Park. If you could tell us a little bit about any of your upcoming events for St. Joe's Academy. Oh, sure enough. Well, we're pretty encouraged today. We've got thousands of people that have come out, and the good news is it's for all ages. We've got senior citizens playing bingo and some of the other games, little children with the children's games. So we're looking forward to the fall. We normally have a Oktoberfest, and it's usually held here at St. Joseph's Park. We still have to make the arrangements and settle on the date, but we will be having one, and it's a great event for both children and adults. We'll again have some games, probably more more indoor and uh, of course the October foot uh, October fest fair all the good food and so forth for everybody and for all ages so we're looking forward to that uh, we don't know yet of the date but we're looking forward to having a uh, uh, winter carnival and that probably depending on how the weather some of it will be outdoors with sculpturing and things like that some of it will be indoors and we're going to be inviting the public this is not a closed event for uh, those involved with St. Joe's Academy it's for the whole community and the whole Will County for that matter that sounds great. I'm looking forward to going to both of those events, especially Oktoberfest. Um, well, thank you very much, Mr. Candy, for coming and talking with us today. Uh, and you enjoy the rest of your wonderful day here. All right? Well, thank you. It's so much nicer to be with you. Have thank a good you. afternoon. Bye now. Hello. Welcome to the St. Joseph Academy picnic here today at the great St. Joe's Park um, in Joliet. And I'm here today with Mayor Girani. So we're just going to say hello. And how are you doing this morning? I'm doing people? fine. What a great day. You know, nice breeze. After that hot weather we've had, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice out here. Got a nice crowd. Everybody's having a good time. I'm happy to be here. Awesome, and so, my, well, my first question for you today is because you're enjoying today, and I know you work hard, so you, enjoy, I, I hope you are enjoying today. What are your like plans for the upcoming summer? Anything major going on? Well, you know, we're working to get downtown going. Uh, I had a meeting with uh, Scott Paddock from. Uh, uh, the uh, Chicagoland Speedway. You know, we have a NASCAR Fan Fest. Uh, we're planning a NHRA, National Hot Rod Association, the Dragsters Fan Fest for next year, which will bring a lot of people downtown. And along with that would be the trucks or the trailers uh, parade that we have for NASCAR. So that'll bring more people downtown. And we have a, on the 19th, I believe, we have another a car show downtown Joliet. So we're, we're trying to get people downtown to realize that, you know, there's a lot of... Great things going on absolutely, downtown. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of people are a little nervous about coming downtown, but they shouldn't be. You know, we got some great restaurants, the Rialto, the Slammers. So, you know... The championship The slammers. championship Slammers, absolutely. So, you know, we're working hard to, to bring people downtown. So, whatever we can do. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So, um, I was told you're working on uh, Mr. Hurley's fundraiser. Yes. And if you could tell us a little bit about him and what he did for on, uh, one of our police officers. On, on June 24th, uh, Justin Hurley went to visit a friend of his, and they were there, and there was some alleged beating up of a woman and her child. And Justin jumped in to break it up, although there were people there cheering the alleged people that were beating up on the woman and her child. They were cheering for him. He jumped in and the police officer then arrived and he, he tackled one of the alleged attackers and the police officer had the other one. Had he not been there, the two attackers, no question, no, we don't know what would have happened. You know, they might have took his gun, but 
So the police officer wrestled the one to the ground and handcuffed him. Uh, Justin tackled the other one and held him down till the police officer could get over there and handcuff him. But in the process, he broke his hand. And he's a part-time, he's a part-time uh, truck driver, uh, and he can't work. Okay. He, he, so we're going to have a fundraiser. He's going to get a Medal of Honor on July 17th at our council meeting. Uh, Chief Trafton is going to award him a Medal of Honor. And then on the July 25th, uh, we're going to have a fundraiser at Heroes. It's $20 uh, to offset some of the medical bills he has and give him a little money because he can't work in his job as a tow truck driver. Wow, that is just amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. You work so hard and thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you. You know, when I run, I run on being a hands-on full-time mayor, and that's it. You know, I'm, I'm out and about, so that, that's my job. Well, thank you for all that you do for our city, and, you know, every time I go to a downtown event, every time I ride my bicycle down the <laughs> IM Canal, I'm thanking you and everyone for your hard work. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate that. Appreciate right, that. Thank you. And I, well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your I am. Weekend. I'm going to stick you. around a little bit. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night. Nice breeze. So I'm going to stick around. Absolutely. Thank you. See you at the All next right. St. Okay. Joe's okay. Academy okay. picnic. All right. Thanks. Hello, we're here still at the St. Joe's Park for the St. Joe's Academy picnic. And I'm here with Andy, who owns Andy and Sophie's, um, which is at, located on Hickory Street in Joliet, who uh, I understand have the best lunch specials in the world of Andy, who loves St. Joe's Park uh, picnics. Could tell us a little bit about the lunch specials, that would be great. Well, we got the everyday different specials in there. And spaghetti, I heard, is fabulous. What day is that on? Saturday. Saturday? All right, what, is the, what time does it start and what time does it end? Well, 11 o'clock to, you know, to 2. To 2? 11 to 2 for the spaghetti is fabulous. But daily specials, like Andy said. Um, what is the exact address of Andy and Sophie's? 921 North Hickory Street. 921 North Hickory Street. All right, well, can you tell me a little bit about why you love coming to St. Joe's Park? Well, it's close to my house, and uh, I'm a good Catholic. That's why I want to push it to uh, make it more for church. Uh, great Catholic, great Catholic. All right. Um, are you looking? Is there anything else to this summer you're looking forward to at all? Uh, not really. Just enjoying the summer weather. Today is a beautiful day. I join every day. I mean, every Sunday I come every, here. That's awesome. And and so should you. Every Sunday Andy's here. So if you want to talk to him about his secret recipes, he'd probably be willing to share, maybe? No? No, not really. <laughs> All right. It's well, my thank wife cooking, not me. Oh, it's his wife cooking. Well, thank you very much for talking with All us right. today, Andy. Thank you. All right, hello. Um, we're at St. Joe's uh, Park today celebrating the St. Joe's Academy picnic. And I'm here with one of the parents, volunteers, um, founders. founders of the St. Joe's Academy. His name is Bill Powers. Um, today he's going to tell us a little bit about St. Joe's Academy, why it was started, and uh, how you can enroll your child to St. Joe's Academy. All right, Bill, if you could please go ahead and tell right. us a little bit about St. Joe's Academy. All right, well, we were start. We started two years ago, and we really we started because um, St. Joseph's School attached to St. Joseph's Parish had been closed. Um, diocese was making cutbacks, and then us as parents just felt that we really needed to keep a school on the east side of the Joliet. Um, we opened up at 51 West Jackson, which is right in downtown at the corner of Jackson and Scott, and uh, really we just, we just felt that we needed to keep an independent, um, independent school with strong moral and social values going on the east side of Joliet. St. Joseph's School was the last one on the east side, and once it got closed, we felt we needed to open up another one. So us, a group of parents and uh, alumni from St. Joseph's School, got together and through a lot of miracles, made it come together. We've brought in a, a hybrid of uh, Montessori education and traditional Catholic education into the school. So we, we use multi-age uh, grouping for the classrooms to teach the kids. And really, it's amazing how it works because the, the older kids work together with the younger kids. The younger kids learn from the older. The older learn from teaching the younger. Kind of continuously reinforces everything, and it keeps it like a really family family spirit, family community. You know, so um, I don't know that that being a lot of it. Um, our kids go to mass every day. Uh, we're a Catholic-based school, but we're not part of the diocese. We're not part of the school district. 
We're basically an independently run school, ran by parents, um, volunteers. Um, we're about the most hands-on school you'll ever you'll ever come across. Yeah, well, um, like you said, you're a very hands-on, family-oriented school, and that's why they have some of these fundraisers to make sure that their education is top-notch, um, the best that it can be. So, um, if you could tell me a little bit, I know this is your second fundraiser of the summer, and you're going to have a few more. And it's very important to your school. Um, yeah, we well, yeah, we really we're trying to support the the East Side community. I mean, it's a financially uh, financially needy center of, of town. Um, and we got we really have students coming in from all over the place, but we hold fundraisers like this to try to help keep the cost of tuition down. Um, so basically so the students who need to get you know to get in there basically really can. You know, it, it creates more opportunity for more people. So we're constantly holding a spaghetti dinner every month. And We've that's got, at St. Anthony's Church, right? Yes, that's St. Anthony's Church. In? 100 Scott, Scott Street. Street, 100 Scott Street. About a block away from the courthouse, right? Yes, and About, it's on okay. the first Thursday of every month. Okay. Um, so, you know, we have spaghetti dinner constantly. We have two picnics a year. Um, we constantly we have an Oktoberfest, a Winter Wonderland. We have all, we're, we're always doing fundraising because being independent of everybody means that we're self-supported. So it's just the parents working, volunteering, and doing fundraisers like this that generate the funds that keep the school open and going. So um, we started off small. We started with 23 students. We're currently at about 60 in our second 60. year. So for our third year, we're looking to hit about 100. We're growing. We're growing fast. We're doing good. People like what we do. Yeah. Our kids are introduced to... Um, all the fine arts, so drama, music, um, pa uh, painting, they're also introduced strongly to the math and sciences and being a small school you know, we, have, we have an organic garden that the, that the teacher uses to teach biology, to teach chemistry, wow. um, to, keep, to teach uh, even business because the kids are going to donate part of their uh, the food that's produced but they're also going to sell part of the food that's produced. And then they're going to take that and use it and do go for a field trip or something like that. So, so I mean, we really take a, a holistic aspect to everything we do and in the way we teach. We really think everything can be an opportunity for teaching, that and, and that's amazing. kind of the Montessori style of teaching. It's all hands, you know, it's hands-on. You're you're interactive in what you're doing. You're not just taught out of a book because there's only you're limited to what you can read. As opposed to, I mean, children learn by sight, hear, touch, feel, you know, and just interactions. You know, the experiences you get really form you, especially as a young child and we're really looking to hope to create the leaders of the future coming out of this school you know so that's why we, we kind of created the hybrid style of, of, the, of the school so um, this well you can see we, we've got great support coming out of this I got I, I am thrilled with the with the turnout we've got and a great turnout I, I, the last time you you had the picnic it was a great turnout also yeah I think well you know we, we there's there's enough of us passionate enough about it I think we really try to go all out with the picnics and make sure we have everything we possibly can to get everybody up here you know I mean and it's a great way to a lot of people don't even know who we are before they come to something like this and then ask oh, what what is this for and then we get an opportunity to introduce ourselves you know and, and kind of show them and tell them who we are and hopefully get kids in there with it you know all so, right well thank you so much Billy you. for sharing with me today I appreciate it thank you Hello, we're here again at the St. Joe's Academy picnic, and I'm here with Cheryl Wilson and Jan Novotny. Uh, they work at St. Joe's Academy, and, um, and that's who we're celebrating today and we're fundraising for. So ladies, if you could just tell me a little bit about yourselves and what you do at St. Joseph Academy and why you're here today and your involvement with the park. Okay, I'm the office manager. My name is Cheryl Wilson. Um, I'm, I run the day-to-day -day operations of the school, you know, from attendance to taking care of the kids and the tuition collection and things like that and fundraising. All right, and I heard you hired the Oh, yeah, them. they're awesome. Oh, yeah. Junkyard dogs. Junkyard dogs. Oh, yeah, they're very, very good. So that's the junkyard dogs behind us playing that Cheryl hired. And here's Jan. My name is Jan Novotny. I'm head of school or principal at the academy. And of course, it's my job to uh, do what principals do. Although in our school, it's much more being a uh, friend to all the students rather than that mean disciplinarian. Um, we, of course, do a lot of fundraising because our tuition doesn't cover all the costs by a long shot. And that's why we're here. And we're very grateful to all these people who've come out to support us today. All right. Today. 
And this is their, their second picnic of the year. And again, they're going to have many more events throughout the, the year. Like Oktoberfest and Winter Wonderland. So, yeah. Well, thank you, ladies, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, it's Lorraine Guerrero here interviewing Miss Cheryl Huff and Letty Powers, who are both parents and volunteers for St. Joe's Academy. And we're celebrating St. Joe's Academy here at St. Joseph Park in Joliet today. So, Miss Cheryl Huff, if you could tell us a little bit why of, of why you're volunteering and uh, what you think about the school, St. Joseph Academy. Well, I teach first through fourth grade here, and I just love it. I originally came from St. Joe's Catholic School, and then I started at the academy from the beginning, and it's just amazing. I love it. It's a blend of Montessori, Catholic, traditional. It's it's a great mix. All right, and Ms. Bowers, you can tell us and also tell us uh, about your open house. Okay, um, we have open house on um, almost every Sunday. So you are all welcome to come and see the school. It's a beautiful school. Um, we have a Montessori preschool, and um, we have um, made the other grades into Montessori also, but a little bit, you know, at a time because you know the kids have to kind of start from when they're little. So if they're older now, they have to kind of, you know, adjust. Adjust. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have. The kids enjoy gardening, um, sewing, painting, um, so many you know, good things for the kids. Um, I wish you could come and see the school. It's, um, it's a beautiful school. And, and where is it located again, St. Joseph Academy? Um, it's on Jackson Street. Right across from the bridge? Yes, right next to the bridge. Right. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Letty Powers and Ms. Cheryl Hoff for talking with us today. Come and see our school. <laughs> beautiful St. Joe's Park and I'm here with Councilman Michael Turk and um, we're just going to ask him today how is his summer going and what brings him out to St. Joe's Park today. Summer's going great Lorraine. Uh, just came out here to support St. Joseph's Academy and uh, see a lot of people that uh, you know haven't seen in a while and it's always a good time up here. Always a good time. And so. it's a beautiful day to have a good time. You know it's a great crowd. It's a beautiful day. I think that uh, the past week it's been so warm that people are just kind of itching to get out and uh, thank God they came here and support uh, the Academy. Yeah, and we've had great bands today. We had Altus earlier and then we had the Junkyard Dogs, just fun names. Um, so for people in Joliet that would like to know what is going on in our community, where can they go to find those things out? You know, they can go to our website, uh, either uh, visitjoliet.com or or uh, on the City of Joliet's official website, and there's links on there to find out what's going on. There's there's uh, different things coming up uh, downtown Joliet. There's uh, uh, next uh, Friday night, there's a big uh, a dinner on Chicago Street. Uh, several restaurants are sponsoring it. Uh, there's uh, the truck races coming up in July. There's there's uh, quite a few other things uh, happening. Uh, the Slammers games are always good. Their attendance is uh, picking up now. The school's out. So, you know, there's all kinds of different things that are coming up, and people don't have to go far to, to find something to do. All right. And, uh, you know, another thing that brought me out was uh, a friend of mine plays in the band here, the Junkyard Dogs, uh, uh, Larry Brown. So they're, they're a good job. But, but uh, it's just nice to see everybody out here. It's nice to see. All right. Well, we're glad you're out here supporting St. Joe's Academy. And thank, thank you, Lorraine. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a good time. My name is Lorraine Guerrero. I'm here at the beautiful St. Joe's Park, and I'm here with two band members from the band Altus. Um, this is Joel Martinez and Omar Cruz, and uh, they're going to tell us a little bit about their band Altus. Um, well, when were you formed? And when we formed uh, about two years ago, and uh, how old are you now? 16, right? Yeah, we're all we're all 16, and I mean, music is just like our passion, so. It's something that we get to lean against on, and it's just fun to do. So, what kind of music do you play? Uh, we play kind of like rock, alternative kind of music. Like, it's just kind of all over the place. All right, well, 16 years old and already have a band for two years now, that's pretty awesome. So, well, thank you very much for talking with us. And this, this right here is Kara Huff, and are you having a fun day today with Altus? Yeah. Yeah? And there, there are four of you, right? Yeah. Um, actually, two of our members left. Uh, Matt Morgan, he does our vocals, and then uh, our rhythm guitar, and then Larry Huff, which is uh, her older brother. So. Well, we look forward to hearing from you.
Tommy, do you have any upcoming shows? Are you working on that? Um, we're playing two shows this coming up month, or not this coming up month, this, uh, like, in two weeks. We're playing uh, at Live 59, July 20th, and then also we're playing at Live 59 again with Down and Dirty and uh, some other pretty well-known bands in the Plainfield area, so, yeah, so it should be a lot of fun. All right, cool. Look forward to hearing from you folks. See you then, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. you. It was nice talking with you. Nice talking with you. here at the St. Joe's Academy picnic on this beautiful day at St. Joe's Park. And I'm here with Mr. Patrick Magascu, who's a volunteer for St. Joe's Academy. So if you could tell me a little bit about your volunteer work here with the Academy and uh, what you're doing out here today on this beautiful day. Well, one of the things I do is I bring my carousel from the museum and uh, I have offered my books for sale here. 50% uh, goes to St. Joe's Academy and 50% goes to me. So I have a museum that's a 501c3 organization, so it doesn't go to me, it goes to the organization. All right, so what do you do here as a volunteer? Well, as a volunteer, I started out at 9 o'clock this morning and uh, I'm still here. So Around 7 o'clock at night, all right. At Jan says, uh, Jan happens to be at, on the board at the museum, mm -hmm. and so with her helping me, I help her, and so it works back and forth. What Jan says to do, I do. I've been selling tickets, I've been uh, sitting at the volunteer desk and uh, watching the carousel and all sorts of things. All right, so a very busy man. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Patrick Magoski, and I hope your book's so well, and I hope that you're having a great rest of your evening here at St. Joe's Park. Thank you for volunteering for this wonderful organization. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate the thank yous. Right, thank you. Hi, my name is Lorraine Grill. I'm here at St. Joe's Park today with Bill Powers, one of the owners of Letty's Place. Is it, uh, it's at 901 North Hickory uh, Street in Joliet. Um, Mr. Powers, that I have you, now that I have your undivided attention, he's a busy man. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about Letty's Place and how long it's been open. Well, we've uh, well, as a bar, the place has been there for decades and decades. We've owned it for um, eight years now. Um, as far as what it is, you know, it's a it's a small neighborhood bar. It's the type of neighborhood bar you don't find anymore, though. We got a good atmosphere, good people. It literally is a place where everybody knows your name when you walk in. You know. Yeah. So it's a family-owned bar. We have uh, Billy's son, little William, here today, dress up as Spider-Man. Hi, Willie. Um, so we're, right now, what we're doing, we're holding some of uh, Bill's homemade, special-made sangria. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about your specials that you have at Letty's place. Um, well, you know what we've got. Well, obviously, I've got the sangria. And it's my own recipe. It's made from scratch. You're not going to find anything better as far as sangria. Um, we got a different special running every day. Honestly, at that point, come in and see what they are. But some of the things we're doing as far as specials, I got sangria on special on Saturdays. I got micheladas on Sundays. If you don't know what those are, just come down and have one, and you'll be in love. Yes, because I'm interested to know. Uh, how do you say that again? Michelada? Michelada. Micheladas. OK. Just come in and ask for one, and you'll find out what it is. All right, um, so we might be having thereafter um, and I also heard you're doing some of the craft beers if you could tell me a little bit about what that is like yeah well you know I mean um, I mean it's gotten to be a growing movement as far as uh, people you know brewing their own craft beers and just a lot of smaller breweries craft basically means it's a smaller custom brewery you got a guy who is brewing what he thinks is best and a lot of them are well I don't know who's best a lot of them are really good um, I'm actually building up to having about 120 hundred and thirty different craft beers in stock all the time. They're always going to be changing because you need some for the summer, some for the fall, some for the winter, um, a lot of different flavors. I mean, it just really, if you come in, I've got a flavor for you for beer. I know every one of the beers I brought in, they're all hand selected. And uh, something we started as a hundred beer club. So we got people that are coming in. You drink, 100, 100 beer club? Yep, okay. you drink a hundred different beers, not all at one night. <laughs> um, drink them over time. Once you hit a hundred, you know, you get your name on the wall, you get a t-shirt. 
get the honor and recognition of being able to say you sampled 100 different beers in my bar. I actually borrowed the, the idea from a bar that I used to be here called the Lumpy Pickle. Now gone, but they used to carry this on, and that was a great way to introduce me to a lot of craft beers. So I'm kind of taking it, carrying it on, and doing the same thing. So I've got a 100 beer club inside Letty's place. You can all, there's no way you can come in and not have something you haven't had before. That sounds delicious. I think we're all going to have to go in and try some of these beers. Um, I, uh, uh, to become uh, to become uh, part of Letty's Place uh, as, as a spot, they have sponsorships. Um, you sponsor some baseball teams, football teams. They have a pool league. So if you're interested in any of that, you can always call Bill Powers. Um, and again today, he's out here supporting St. Joe's Academy, um, where he's a parent and the founder. And I just want to say thank you so much for sponsoring St. Joe's and coming out. And let's try some of the delicious sangria. Hold on. Very, very tasty. I like it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lorraine Guerrero. We're here at St. Joe's Park, um, celebrating St. Joe's Academy, and I'm here with little Dominique and her brother William, who's dressed up as uh, Spider-Man because we had face painting here today. And are you having fun today, William? Yes. Yes, he's having a lot of fun. Uh, Dominique, uh, Dominique, what are some of the things that you have to do today? Uh, my friends are here from school. There's a whole bunch of games. And there's cotton candy. Cotton candy. And um, cupcakes. Cupcakes. Uh, what are some of the games that you uh, have played? Well, I played with the... The bean bags? The bean, bean bags, bags and the horseshoe things. And the horseshoes, mm -hmm. all right. And there's a, um, a cute little yeah. merry-go-round. There's a little... Uh, was there a moonwalk? Did you get to jump in that today? Uh, no, not me. Not but you, but I not will you. Know, but she yeah. wants to. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys are having fun here today at St. Joe's Academy. Do you love going to that school or what do you think about it? I like it a you lot. You like it a lot? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming out today and, and talking with me, okay? Thank you. And I'll see you again soon, okay? Thank you for talking with me. Hi, my name is Lorraine Guerrero. I'm here at the beautiful St. Joe's Park for St. Joe's Academy's second picnic of the summer. I'm here with Serena Magoski. And Serena, if you could tell us a little bit about what you do for St. Joe's Academy and uh, what you're doing out here today volunteering on this beautiful summer day. Okay. Uh, myself and Heather Demansky, we are co-chairs for the event. So we've done all the prep planning and we're running the event today. I am a Montessori assistant for the three to six year olds during the year um, in Miss Maria's room. All right, so what are some of the uh, um, games and activities that are going on today? I know you have pull tabs and you've got the wheel. What are some of the other things going on today? Ooh, we got raffles. We've had bingo, uh, bakery, you name it. It's out here. Right. <laughs> everything for, from babies to adults. Yes, yeah. yes, and everything's been really well. This is our benefit picnic for St. Joe's Academy. We have about 52 students, so this really benefits our families and our everybody. And I love this organization. It's just for, good for kids, families, and I do a lot of service hours, at least 20 hours a week um, for my daughter. I do service hours, and she will be attending in the fall. So, yep. All right. Well, thank you very much, Serena, for your time, and you have a great rest of your afternoon. And thank you for volunteering with us, Lorraine. Right. Hello, my name is Lorraine Guerrero, and I'm reporting here from uh, St. Joe's Park uh, for the St. Joe's Academy picnic, and I'm here with the owner from Louisiana Barbecue. If you could tell us a little bit about Louisiana Barbecue and where you're located. And... Okay. Well, it's a family-owned business. We've been involved with barbecue for seven years at uh, 1220 Richard Street. Uh, we cook all our food with love and care. It's marinated. As you can see, here's a pulled pork sandwich uh, with our special made sauce. Here. We have... We I'm going to see how good it tastes. Hold on. that actually melt in your mouth when you bite into it. Well, I'll get you some brisket too. Uh, we do chicken chunks, we do wings, uh, chicken strips. We have a jazzy burger that's a pound. Uh, we have a rib tip burger. We have a BJ burger. We also have a MM burger. After I die, son, right here. It's actually a, a rib tip burger ground up. 
Uh, we have hot links, polishes, full pork, as you can see, rib tips. Uh, what else we have? A lot of wonderful things on their menu. Yeah. So, are you, what was your name again, and who is this lovely lady standing over here? My name is Alan, and this is my sister-in-law, Lily Bell. Your sister-in-law, Lily Bell, you look like you've been working hard today. She, she's a good worker, very hard worker. I haven't been doing too much. They take it easy on me. Are you having fun out here today at St. Joe's Park, though? Yeah, this is my second time being out here. Wow, yeah, I saw you the last picnic. Yes, yes, yes. it was too nice. So, do you have anything to do with the recipes out here? Oh, no, no. That's all of them. Uh-huh. Well, thank you so much for coming out. We enjoy your food very much. Oh, you're quite welcome. All right, well, thank you so much You're for welcome. giving us some of this tasty, tasty full of pork well, today. Thank you. thank you very, very much. And uh, so if you come out to St. Joe's Park, you might just see them or to 1220 Richard Street, right? We're Lu there. And your name again? My is name is Al, and, and uh, this is the boss, Teresa. Teresa. She runs Hello. the whole show. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for You're your welcome. time today, and I, was, I look forward to going down to your restaurant. Okay. And again, its name is Louisiana, Louisiana Barbecue. Louisiana Louisiana Barbecue, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hello, this is Lorraine Guerrero here at St. Joe's Park on another beautiful Sunday afternoon. Today we've had bands like Junk Yard Dog, Ultimus. Just a, a great day to benefit uh, St. Joe's Academy. And you can come out any Sunday here at St. Joe's Park. And all the proceeds go to charity. So hopefully we see you out here on another Sunday afternoon. Thank you so much and we hope you enjoyed.